absolute maximum and minimums on a closed interval. If a function f is continuous on a closed interval a, b, then we are guaranteed an absolute maximum and an absolute minimum function value on this interval. Okay, so we're looking for maxim, absolute maximum and minimums. And we're going to the example is find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum value of the function. Let's see what the function is. f of x equals x minus 2 sine x over the interval, closed interval, from 0 to 2 pi. So <clears throat> the first place we might look is the endpoints. We might stick 0 into this function, see what the function value is, and 2 pi. And those are possible uh, candidates for being uh, uh, absolute maximums and absolute minimums. They certainly will be local maximums. So <clears throat> if I put 0 into f, I get 0. And uh, 2 pi, make this a little bigger here. Uh, if I put 2 pi into the function, I get uh, 2 pi, or 6.28. So I have these two points, these endpoints here. Let me cursor down. Here they are. Uh, 0 and 0 and 2 pi and 6.28 and this is a possible absolute minimum this 0 and this is a possible absolute maximum. The other place, places we look for absolute uh, maximums or minimums is where the derivative is 0 or does not exist. These are called critical points. So we look for critical points on the interval in question and we plug the, uh, these x values into the original function and we look at the function values there and that's what we're going to do. We'll take the derivative of uh, x minus 2 sine x and we get 1 minus 2 cosine x. Well this is um, a good everywhere. This is, uh, there's, no, there's no x's that would make this derivative undefined are there? The cosine is uh, um, defined everywhere for all x. So what we have to do is set it to 0 we do that, we get cosine of x equals 1 half, and we get two values, two possible values between 0 and 2 pi, pi over 3 or 5 pi over 3 when we solve this little trig equation. So, <clears throat> and that comes from setting this derivative to 0. So we take these values and we plug them in the function and we get the function values. In the first instant, we get instance, uh, plugging uh, pi over 3 and we end up with pi over 3 minus the square root of 3 which is approximately negative 0.684 and then we plug in 5 pi over 3 and we get the function value uh, 5 pi over 3 plus the square root of 3 which is approximately 6.96. <clears throat> There's our two points. So we, these are also candidates for absolute max and absolute min and, we, and when we examine all our points, which I do here, there's all of them. I'll make that a little bigger, maybe. Let's uh, do that. Maybe be more visible. These got these. For some reason, YouTube doesn't make this very clear. So if the bigger they are, the better. All right. So here are all the possible um, max, uh, absolute maximum and absolute minimum values for this function, and zero, six point two eight, etc. And it's obvious that the absolute max, uh, minimum is right here, negative 0.684, and the absolute maximum is right here. These are the smallest and biggest values of the four function values. And that's my conclusion. The absolute maximum this function takes on um, from 0 to 2 pi is 6.96, and that's an approximation. And the absolute minimum that this function takes on is negative 0.684.